Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the uh, June 5th webinar for developers, how to get started with Avalara's API, a developer tutorial. Uh, leading us through the presentation today is Anand Mudliar. He is a principal product manager uh, here at Avalara. And he is going to walk you through our developer resources and offer for those developers who need to build a tax integration for their organization's uh, financial platforms. Anand, go ahead and take it away. All right. Thank you, Jeff. And uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, this is our uh, first Get Started uh, webinar for uh, developers, and I'm really excited. So let's get started without wasting much time. I just want to uh, start with giving a brief agenda uh, what I'm going to talk about today. Number one is we talk about you know, the products. As you probably know, Avalara is not about just one product, we have many products. So I just want to go through those products and so that you're familiar with what Avalara offers you for your tax compliance, right? Then we will also look at integrations and how it can help you. And then we'll look at what are the different development paths you can take, right? And then we'll take one approach and move towards what are the tools and technologies that we support today that can help you get started uh, fast and quick in your integration effort. And then we'll also uh, you know, uh, take a walkthrough of our developer website, and I'm going to walk through some of the key uh, areas where uh, you would uh, probably uh, uh, need uh, more uh, info in terms of you know, how to get to SDK, how to get to various resources, things like that. So we, we'll do a walkthrough, and then I'll open it up for questions. Moving on to the next slide, what is Avalara, right? So what, what, uh, what I always tell is Avalara is not about like sales tax, right? Avalara is about anything and everything that you have to do to be a tax compliant, right? Which is not only your sales tax, but use tax, excise tax, your number of taxes out there. And what we do is we provide a variety of products that would help you build your product become like a tax compliant product, right? So as I just said here, we have around 15 different products uh, that we support today, okay? And number one is our flagship product called Avatar Sales and Use Tax. This product essentially is your, is the product that would help you calculate sales tax more accurately based on your state, country, and I said country because we are not just US, we are worldwide, right? And the number two is if you deal with excise uh, duty, you know, import taxes, things like that, then we have a separate product called Avatax Excise, uh, which has a special tax code, tax rule, and uh, that would help you build your excise product uh, integration. And if you're in a streaming business, like if you're in T-Mobile or, you know, any of communication uh, uh, domain, then we have a specialized product called Avatax Communication and uh, that would help you uh, do the integration for your uh, communication product. We also have what we call as item classification. Now, as you know, tax code is not simple, right? There are tons and tons and thousands of tax codes, and it is very hard for uh, you to remember which tax code maps to which product and what should I use. So we do have a product called item classification where you can actually map your product code with your uh, you know, correct tax code. So when you, when you do the sales tax calculation, it, it, it does it more accurately because now you're actually mapping those tax codes uh, uh, with our tax, uh, item classification product. And if you're dealing with cross-border uh, uh, products, uh, we are, you're shipping goods from one country to another, and so there are a lot of cross-border uh, 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 tax rules that get supplied. Uh, so we have a product that takes care of your cross-border efforts uh, you know, uh, that you can, you can utilize. And for all of, all, of, all of the above, right, it's not about just sales tax, right? Just self-sales tax is great, but at the same time, what we also provide is uh, filing returns, right? So at the end of the day, when you do tax calculations, we also have a product, a uh, bunch of products actually, that would help you file your returns. So you don't have to worry about 
you know, filing on your own. We take care of that. Our products actually are very well integrated with all these different uh, jurisdictions, and we, 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 we calculate, we take your transaction, we calculate that, and we file uh, returns on it. And we have everything documented as well for your reference, right? So for returns, we have returns for sales and use tax. We also have returns for excise. We have returns for communication. And you notice there is a product called my logic, uh, you know, my last tax. And why is that, right? So lodging and hotel business is slightly different, right? So that there are taxes that are that goes at very granular level, like how many pillows you have in a room, right? So you get tax based on that. Like it is it is it is very different domain uh, for the tax. So we actually have a product that addresses those uh, specific scenarios uh, if you are in a hotel business. Right? So you can use my loss tax uh, for your uh, integration if you, are, if you are integrating with your uh, hotel business. Right? And then we have trust file uh, where you file your returns. And then uh, we also have third capture. What is third capture? So third capture essentially is if you have exemptions, uh, you know, like if you're a non-profit or if you are selling in a good where there are no taxes, and so you have to collect all those exemption documents and maintain those for record purpose and funding purpose, right? So we have a protocol sort capture which help you with all of your exempt document batch. Then same thing for excise. So we we capture all the excise related uh, documents as well and the vendor as well. Avalara licensing is another product where we actually help you manage all of your licensing registration at one place. So you don't have to go, you know, uh, do that, uh, build a product separately. We, that, we do this for you. Right? And then we have a product similar to lodging taxes. We also have a product for beverage and alcohol. And uh, again, the same reason, the beverage and alcohol is slightly different than your normal, uh, uh, you know, uh, Retailers, right? So, uh, like taxes, right? If you if you are shipping, a, you know, a crate of wine from one country to another or one state to another, uh, there are restrictions around how many bottles you can uh, ship. You know, whether it goes to one household or what a group of families. There are a lot of nuances to you know beverage industry, right? So, we created this product called beverage and alcohol. And if you are in that domain, if you are trying to build an integration uh, in that industry, then we have a separate product that can help you with that. Right? So these are like 15 products that are uh, there out there today. You know, you can just find it on our website, avalara.com. But just to give a uh, glimpse of what's coming up, uh, we are actually planning to launch eight more products in uh, next few quarters, right? And we are going to announce as and when that happens. Uh, so, but, uh, you know, we are continuously building new products, continuously trying to address different needs, tax needs from different countries and different uh, domains. So we are, uh, our current uh, goal is to launch our eight products in 2020 and 2021, right, going forward. So with that, uh, I want to move to the next slide, which is slide number five. And I want to talk about what we are doing, right? We have so many great products. What we are doing for developers, right? So developers, we feel, are the key to the success of any kind of integration uh, with uh, any, you know, any of our products, right? So what we have done for you guys is we have built around 700, actually more than 700 uh, integrations for you. So if you are dealing with Oracle NextSuite or QuickBooks or Magento or Shopify, we already have an integration built in. So you don't have to do anything, right? Just go ahead and use those integrations and boom, you are up and running in you know, no, no time, right? So we do have pre-built integration uh, if you are in one of those uh, business. But let's say you, know, you are not in one of those integrations and you want to do something, right? In that case, what we provide is we provide REST and SOAP API. Now, what, uh, you might be wondering, right, it's, it's a world of REST API, why you guys uh, have SOAP API? And there is a big reason for this. This, the industry, the tax industry or the retail industry, right, the products uh, that get integrated, uh, you know, uh, with our products are not just latest and greatest, right? We have, we actually support like legacy Oracle and you know Cobol and those kind of systems like mainframe systems, right? They are still using uh, you know like old legacy systems and they don't do, uh, they don't support the rest. So if your product, if you are trying to build an integration for a product that is a very legacy one, we do have uh, a SOAP support for that, and that's one of the primary reason why we continue to support uh, SOAP API for all of our product integrations, right? And we continue to support you know in your future as well. 
But uh, our guidance there is we always want to drive uh, companies and uh, developers to uh, utilize latest and greatest RESTful APIs because that's where we can provide a lot of uh, capabilities and feature, uh, you know, from a, from a technology perspective, right? There are a lot of uh, limitations that uh, you get into when you deal with SOAP API. So that's why we encourage you to use RESTful API. But at the same time, we also support uh, SOAP API. That's the route you want to take. Moving on to slide number eight. Now, there are, uh, so we talked about integration, we talked about REST API, we talked about SOAP API. Then how do you choose? Like, what's, the, what's, the right, what's the right thing to do for me like, for, as a developer? So we essentially have uh, three fast uh, development paths, I would say. Number one, as I mentioned, if you are already on big commerce or if you are already on Shopify and if you are trying to build something around that, we already have pre configured integration. So you can just go ahead, you know, and uh, sign up and uh, use that integration as is, and boom, you are up and running. You don't have to do anything, right? Then we also have what we call as API integration, which is, you know, you, you don't have, uh, none of the integration that we provide works for you, and you only want to, uh, you know, just give me my API, and I'm going to bring my own, build my own integration, right? If you are in that bucket, then we do have uh, API integration uh, uh, that we support through all of our REST and so And Number three is uh, what I call as hybrid, which is a combination of uh, you know uh, pre-configured integration and API integration. So if you have if you are in big commerce, you want to use big commerce, but at the same time for some other uh, some other uh, features, stack compliance features, you know you want to use uh, you know directly the API. So we do support a hybrid model where you can we can you can consume the current uh, pre configured integration at the same time you can build your own integration and uh, both of them works together right but today's focus i just want to focus today on api integration because that's the core of uh, our uh, business right when, when it comes to uh, developer api right that that's the number one thing that comes to mind and that's why i want to focus today and we will have a more session where we go deeper into pre-configured integration, deeper into you know how you do actually do uh, build all this pre-configured integration or API integration. But I just want to focus on purely how uh, you know how we support uh, the API integration for developers. Moving on to slide number ten. Now, when we talked about you know the integration, we talked about the development approach, we talked about uh, RESTful API and so SOAP API, then. The next thing, that next obvious question as a developer is, okay, you know, I'm on different technology, you know, what do you guys support, right? So today we support all major uh, technologies, as I listed here. We support .NET, C Sharp .NET. We also support JavaScript. So if you're in Node.js or anything to do with JavaScript framework, yes, we do have uh, uh, support JavaScript. We also support Ruby on Rails. We support Python. If you are building uh, a product uh, using Python, then yes, we do have uh, support for Python. We also have support for Java. And obviously, PHP uh, is a de facto standard nowadays. So Java, PHP, C Sharp, Ruby on Rails, JavaScript, and Python. These are the six uh, commonly used technology in the industry that we support today. And we continue to grow today, right? Uh, grow, uh, the, uh, the technology support, right? As of today, we only support six. But tomorrow, if, if there are need for supporting additional, let's say, Go technology, yeah, we will. We are going to explore that and see, you know, if we can support that. But uh, as it stands today, we support uh, these six uh, core technologies for your integration. Moving on to slide number twelve. So what we have uh, for developer, right, on the website. So number one thing uh, we have is. It's all RESTful APIs, right? We, uh, obviously, we have SOAP API, but uh, we do provide uh, support for all of our REST, uh, RESTful APIs, which not only means the documentation, but also you can actually try out uh, API real-time RESTful APIs, right? You can actually uh, try that. Out. And, and I'll walk you through uh, that experience soon. That's number one. Number two is, in order to get started uh, you know, as a developer, you want to know how, you know, where to begin, right? So we do have developer guide uh, uh, on how to go about uh, uh, building the integration or using those APIs right, for all the products. Then we have a, a very exhaustive list of APIs uh, and uh, documentation, a very detailed uh, documentation of every single API uh, for every single product. Right? So we do have that. 
we also have as behave right so sometimes uh, it, it's it's always good as a developer that hey just give me an SDK I'm in Sharp C Sharp just give me C Sharp SDK and I'm done so we do uh, provide support for SDKs for different six languages then free trial now you probably know the APIs you probably know you know what needs to be done but how you're going to you know uh, you know you know how this whole integration is going to work so right? so what we offer is we offer free trial. You can actually sign up for a free trial where you get access to our sandbox environment, where you can do everything from scratch. As if you are building, uh, you know, your integration on production, you can actually set up companies, profile, jurisdiction. You can actually see how the transactions are coming, and pretty much, you know, every single feature that we support today uh, for your tax and plans. So we do have a free trial support for that. Then we have a community, right? So one of the biggest things. Uh, so developer is okay. You know, uh, you know, I'm going to build uh, this great API integration, but uh, how do I get support if I have questions, right? So uh, we do have uh, a community of developers and uh, our, uh, both internal and external um, travelers that can help you uh, answer your uh, key questions around integration. And then we also have blog. So from time to time, there are a lot of tax changes that happen, right? A lot of features that we release, a lot of we release like every two weeks, uh, you know, features, right? Uh, so we want to make sure that our community of developers are aware of what's going on, right? What's new in the industry? So we, from time to time, we publish articles on new tax rules, like uh, with this COVID, and there are some tax rule changes. So we uh, we try to be upfront and give more as much documentation, as much articles uh, to help our community, and that uh, we do it uh, through blogs. Every time we do release, we also release our patch notes, release notes in our in a blog. So blog is a, a key resource as a developer to uh, keep themselves up to date on what's going on on different products, what new features we are launching, and you know what are some of the new things happening in the tax world. Then developer support, right? Let's say you know you do great integration. You reach out to community. You know you ask for answer. You know for some uh, some questions you got answers. Some questions uh, you did not get answer. You went to blog. You look at all this new feature. Great. But then at the end of the day, you realize, oh, you know what? I'm not getting any any you know my question answered. So we do have uh, a, a support for developer side. So you can always reach out to us if you have questions. And we try our best to get uh, your question answered as soon as possible. So we do provide uh, uh, support for our developers from time to time as and when needed. With that, uh, I want to uh, uh, take a, a walkthrough, give you a walkthrough of what we have today on the developer website. Right? It's probably going to take uh, 15 minutes or so, but uh, let me start sharing my screen so that you can. All right. So uh, I'm sharing my screen. This is what uh, is uh, Avalara.com. This is our home page for uh, Avalara, right? Now, there are a lot of contents here, right? You have contents about you know, what are the different solutions and uh, around you know different tax types like excise, lodging, communication, web alcohol. Then we also have GST, Brazil, cross-border sales. We have a lot of content around it. So of course, you know, you can always go through, you know, feel free to uh, go there and look into the detail and there are tons and tons of information around these products. We also have, uh, if you want to know more about integration, we do provide uh, uh, details about, uh, you know, some of the popular integration like Agento, Shopify, NetSuite, uh, Microsoft Dynamics, Save, Zora, Stripe, things like that, right? You get, uh, you can get more deeper into, you know, what we provide in those areas. But, Today, let's uh, let's look at so and then the second uh, menu option. Uh, what you see is products. So this is uh, it just lists the top four products, but there are like 15 products that we talked about. You can actually go and uh, look into those. So if I see all new products, you pretty much get every single product detail, right? Whether it's related to tax return, lodging, trust file, cert capture, licensing, and you name it. And every time we add a new product, this is the place where you can see every single product listed. Right? So that, that's that, right? So every, any time you want to know uh, what are the different products we support, this is the place you can go. Then, 
comes to the research, we have a lot of resources, by the way, right? We have resources, like we have free resources, then we have a lot of learning, then we have support, and a lot of things, right? So let's let's look at, uh, uh, let's say, let's look at the sales tax, I think this would be a good one. Uh, let's say uh, free tax calculation, right? So you want to uh, see, you know, what's my tax, so if you want to see, you know, how this, uh, uh, tax gets calculated based on, let's say, you're in Washington or New York or whichever city, uh, uh, state you are. Uh, you can actually type your address and then uh, check out the allow this and let it use my calculation. And here you go. So I just hit my, you know, it, it, it automatically detects uh, my jurisdiction, you know, which, uh, which state I am, uh, which jurisdiction I am, and it, it tells you, you know, what's the tax rate. And you can just play around, you know, if you want to know more about, you know, how the sales tax, what are the different tax rates uh, at different states and jurisdiction levels. You know, we, we support them, and we do have an API uh, that can actually give you all the tax rate for all the that's like completely free. You can just, it's, it's one of those free API that we provide, right? So this is the place where you can actually uh, play around and see uh, that. Then we also have what we call as, oh, we talked about blog. Let's talk about blogs. So this is an interesting one, right? So blog, as you can see, uh, for every single topic, whether it's an exercise tax or it's called developers, news, communication, we have like, uh, we publish blog. So as you can see, I'm highlighting this, this is the latest tax release around of COVID-19, right? So we, we try to uh, always be on top of what's going on in this tax industry, right? So we, from time to time, we provide my communication around blocks here. But our focus, I just want to focus on developers here. So I'll just go to the developer side. And when I when you go here, you will see a lot of patch notes, right? What happened uh, in, let's say, API 19.9 patch? So if, if you open that, you can actually see what we have done, right? What what fixes we have uh, done? What are the improvements we have done? And a lot a lot of times, right? When you're building integration, you run across you know some issues, and we would have already addressed it uh, in one of the batch, uh, in one of the batches that we release like every two weeks, right? So this is the place where you can actually go and see, you know, what uh, uh, what if, if there is a fix already in place or not. So if you have submitted any, uh, a critical issue to our customer support. And so our engineering team, we look into that, prioritize it, and then get it fixed and roll it out, right? So at this place, you can actually go back and see, yeah, uh, my issue is fixed, and uh, uh, you, you can actually move forward from there, right? And you can always, uh, so we do, we do have sandbox and uh, production environment. Uh, where uh, we, we, every time there is a release, we make sure that our sandbox environment is always up to date and same as production. That's why we always list down uh, and one and then uh, in our patch notes. So that's a blog. Then let's get to code, right? This is the place um, which is, um, would be like a holy grail for you guys, right? As a developer, this is where uh, you should be able to find every single thing that you want to do, uh, technical and non-technical, in order to do integration, right? And uh, I'll just walk you guys through uh, right from the menu, right? So from the menu, what we have done is we have uh, uh, we have uh, distributed our menu into key focus area, right? Where we have APIs, we have SDKs, we have some of the certifications, uh, we have resources and tools and some tests, right? So let's talk about APIs. APIs, we as you as you notice, every single product that we listed here are standardized, right? We have overview, uh, we have a guide, we have an API reference. So, so if you are looking for uh, how to get started, right? Yeah, great. So you just click to developer guide, and it will take you to this place, uh, a location where it can help you, uh, you know, with all of your need in getting started. For example, let, let's expand, get started uh, with analytics. When you expand, what you see on the left hand side are some of the key things that you should be thinking about when you are integrating. For example, number one is how you are going to connect to our APIs, right? So it has the details about how do you actually go about connecting the API. It has, you know, what is a sandbox environment, right? It talks about what is the URL, what are some of the things that we support, what, what's the difference between sandbox and person. I'm sure, you know, you guys are engineers and, you know, technology specialists, you probably know, but from an Avalar perspective, 
we also want to set expectation uh, between what what's the difference between sandbox and uh, production, right? So we do list out uh, you know uh, the key differences here. Uh, prime rate is exactly the same. There are some nuances to it, but essentially uh, both environments are the same. Then uh, we also have linked to uh, different SDKs right there, right? So you don't have to search for you know SDKs. You know where to find SDK. It's just one place. You come here and just click that, and you go. You're done. You can just download the SDK and get started. So going about, uh, then uh, you know there are some troubleshooting uh, things. So how do you handle error message? You know what kind of error message you get. So we have details around that, right? There's uh, what are the different test cases you'll be doing. You know uh, how to go about uh, you know identifying a firewall or uh, proxy server problem if you have any. And you know how do you test your authentication? We do have something called Ping API uh, that you can use. Uh, and then uh, we also describe some of the most common problems when you are getting started, right? So we wanted to make sure that you don't have to. You know we already went through that, uh, and we we understood that these are some of the steps you should be taking if you are running into issues, which are like very common when you are beginning uh, when you are starting your integration work. So we actually set down some of the most commonly uh, reported problems and what are the solution to that, right? So what kind of SSL certification uh, verification you need, you know, what happens with the proxy server problems, and things like that, right? So we do have uh, content, a lot of content actually on that. And then if you want to go a little bit more detail on what's transaction, right? So there are transaction, reconciliation, and a lot of terminology that means exemption, location. So this chapter, chapter number two here, uh, it talks about, you know, what is transaction. Like great, and as a, as, a, as, a, as a developer, I know what is a transaction, right? But in 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 a in a in a tax world, transactions are very different, right? So we wanted to make sure that as an engineer or as, you know as a, as a technology, you need to understand what 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 is a transaction, what it means, right? So we actually created a a, a, a document which actually talks about what is a simple transaction, right? So it so if you look at uh, it talks about what is it, what's the API of, to create a transaction, what transaction is, and then it actually gives you a lot more detail. So this is the place where you get more detail than anywhere else on our website about this transaction and specific code, right? So it talks uh, really uh, in detail about what is the company code, right? What is the document type? What do you mean by document code? What is the document date? Right? So every single uh, parameter or terminology that you'll be using throughout your integration cycle has been defined here, and primarily around transaction. So this is a great place for you guys to start uh, when you when you are when you are when you are, when you are beginning to uh, you know uh, create transaction. So this is very important because a lot of things uh, are you know when, when, you know I'm coming from an engineering background. You know I have a lot of experience in uh, building integration. And this is this is the place I struggle a lot. Right? I'm sure you guys will be having similar challenges where you don't even understand, you know, what is, what what this terminology means. So what we have done here is we actually simplified that process for you. We actually simplified. Okay, what is document code? You know, what is company code? So we 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 provide great details because those are the places where you know even I struggled initially. Right? So I'm sure a lot of uh, people actually struggle understanding what are the simple terminologies that we need in our tax business. So this is a great place uh, to get that info, right? So this this whole guide is all about helping you to create a wonderful, you know, experience uh, around your integration, right? So this is the, this is the place where you can find every single uh, thing that you have to deal with when you are doing whether it's a you know transactions or whether you are doing exemptions, whether you are shipping, handling, you know, maybe discounts, uh, consumer use tax, anything and everything that you need to do an integration should be here, right? So let's yeah, let's go and look at, so let's say, you know, this is great, right? This is all all good words, but, you know, as, as, a, as an engineer, I always want to say, hey, show me the API. You know? that, that, that's what I want to see, right? So the place to see that is what we call as API reference. Anywhere on our website, if you see an API reference, it refers to an API, right? So I'm, I'm clicking this uh, uh, flagship product, Avatax API, which essentially lists down tons of APIs. As you can see on the live side, I'm going to scroll a little slowly here. But we have a lot of APIs. And these are not, these are these are the APIs you'll be using if you're building like really, really, you know, 
uh, you know, good integration. If you have a lot of use cases, complex use cases, we have simplified that through an API. So you don't have to deal with those, those complications. Uh, we simplify that uh, by providing those API. And this is the place where you get to know everything as API uh, that we provide uh, as a part of our tax product, right? So we highlighted here top 10 endpoints. And why top 10? Because these are the top 10 endpoints that you will be using uh, in your integration. There are other features uh, and APIs that are you know, that are applicable to some businesses, like if you are in you know, retail business or ERP or manufacturing, and there are certain uh, APIs that you would need or that you would not need. But these are the 10 APIs uh, would be used mostly by all, all integration. Right? That's why we want to highlight that. Number one is, as I mentioned earlier, it's a ping service. It's essentially diagnosed the connectivity, right? Whether, you know, the APIs, your APIs are connecting or not. You can check, you can ping and see if things are working uh, or not. Okay. And then uh, let, let me click uh, just uh, just to give a uh, you know, uh, brief idea over this, uh, how, the, uh, how our products uh, APIs are laid out. So I, I'm, I click the Create Transaction API. And as you can see, the top section actually talks about the purpose, uh, which is, of course, um, to simplify it, creating new transaction. But then it's, uh, you need to uh, talk to our sandbox environment, and what's the URL uh, you would need to talk to our production environment, right? And then uh, at the bottom of that section, which says request body and request uh, uh, response body. Now, uh, you, when you are doing, you know, uh, I'm sure uh, when you are doing uh, RESTful integration uh, from time to time, uh, you know, definitely I struggle, is, you know, there is no standard way of, you know, request and response. Every, every single product, every single company does their own way. So what we have done is we have simplified that process, right? Instead of saying, you know, here's a bunch of JSON objects and, you know, go ahead and, you know, parse that out and use it, right? So we know it, 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 it makes the integration complex, right? So we simplified that, right? So what we have done is we created what we call as models. So your request and response are, are essentially different types of model. And you will see these different types of models throughout our APIs. And this is just one example where we say, you say transaction model, right? So if I click transaction model, it actually talks about, uh, so in short, right, a model, uh, what we, the way uh, we call it, it, it's a structured data uh, that uh, we expect and uh, a structured response that uh, you get uh, after processing or creating a transaction or whatever it is, right? And that structure is what we call a model. So each model comes up with, you know, what's the name of the field, you know, what are the different attributes, and what, what, what those attributes is used for, right? So this is, so every single model that we have uh, in our different products has been defined in, in exactly the same way, where we talk about, you know, what is that field? You know, for example, here we are talking about, okay, it's a field name called code, and it's a string field with a maximum length of 10, uh, 50, and it's an optional. And what it is, it's an internal reference code used by client application. This is used for operations such as get, you know, adjust, settle, and things like that, right? So like that, we have defined every single model uh, that, uh, that you'll be using throughout your integration process. And this, this is, by the way, this is, this, is, uh, this is another great place where you want to, if you want to learn more about attributes, different parameters, this is the model, you need to look at models first. Because that will give you more info about whether it's an optimal field or a required field, are there any kind of validation, any kind of restriction in terms of length or things like that, any format, right? So this is, so that's what we call as model. So going back to our create transaction, right? So request and response, as I mentioned, are models. Right. So you, you will always get a response in a structured form. Right. So when when you so whenever there is a change uh, in our APIs, the way of, the way we do is we we try to we what uh, so the way uh, uh, when, whenever we fix an issue or let's say introduce a new feature, we also make sure that you know your integration doesn't break. And the model is one of the things that we are very careful about when we. This is, the, this is the thing we always look at when we are uh, making changes. We want to want to make sure that in the, uh, the, the response, the, the kind of data you are getting, the structure you are getting in a response, does not change. Right? At the same time, it addresses that issue as well. 
going down, uh, it talks about uh, this document will talk about the description about this API, where it is used, how to generate, and uh, each of these, uh, if you look at right, each of the highlighted ones, those are those are critical pieces of uh, your puzzle. Those are the uh, those are the attributes that you need to know when you are when you are building the integration and uh, scrolling down a little bit. Uh, these are, okay, so this is uh, I'm sure you guys are going to love this. So what we also did. Is, oh, by the way, uh, you know, uh, one interesting thing, uh, uh, fun fact, is all of these are real time, right? What it means is we don't go and manually change out the document. These are like, you know, real time. So we have, you know, what we call as Swagger, and you might have seen in our, on our website, where we actually do dynamic generation of all the documentation in code, right? So anytime you uh, go here and see that there is an API and it works great, in a way it works. That means that's exactly what we have uh, you know, on our back side, right? On our back side, right? there is no difference in uh, what you see here and what we actually have, right? So we, we want to be transparent and that, way, like real time. We don't. If any time we we launch a new feature, boom, you should be able to see that uh, you know, here as soon as we launch it, right? So with, with that said, we also created what we call as you know, try now, right? And what is try now? Right? Try now is something you want. So let's say you know you are just beginning, and you want to see how this whole you know uh, create transaction works, right? So what we created is for every single API, we created uh, gave a feature called try now, where uh, we you can actually use a prefill. But if you already are familiar with some of the parameters and if you want to try it out, feel free to do that. But if you don't, we actually do a uh, you know sample data filling. So you click this uh, fill with sample data. It will create this model, uh, a structure model, a request, and you hit submit, and boom! On the right hand side, you actually see a model uh, in uh, structure data with a response. Right. So this is a this is a really good way of actually before even uh, doing any kind of integration, you can actually visualize if I pass this, this is what I'm going to get. And then, when you are building integration, you can actually design your, uh, you know, your backend or your classes based on, you know, uh, what, uh, how this, uh, how, what kind of data we are returning uh, as a part of this. So this is like one of the really, um, uh, really good way to get familiarized with uh, request and response for all the different APIs, right? And we simplify that so you don't have to know every single parameter because a lot of things uh, are there. If you, and if you, if you know, great. Like for for some uh, developers we have seen, you know, they are already building some integration and they are very familiar, so they just try it out by filling, you know, uh, the data here. But for the uh, for the new uh, uh, for the new developers who are just building, we we do have an option where they can refill the data and touch it up. Right. So that's a create transaction uh, you know, try now. And this is by the way, this try now is for everybody, right? And we also provide, you know, as, as in general. Uh, uh, the example request this is how the request looks like, and we every time there is a change in our GPIs or structure, we always publish this uh, and throughout our site, right? Then we have example response, right? So if you have, if you submit this request, uh, I'm highlighting here, and you post it, and you should be able to get this response, right? It talks about what's the total tax, the total amount, what's the total tax calculated, what's the total taxable amount, how much tax. There, yeah, they know that what was the uh, adjustment region, what region, what country, what was the address, mm. and you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, things, right? And uh, so you you can actually uh, uh, use this as a reference uh, when you when you are building your integration, uh, especially especially when you are building your uh, backend classes. Okay. And then at the bottom, uh, we do have a community. So you know, let's say you you ran into some issue and you have. Question right here. Like, I want, I want, hey, what? I want to know what is this? Tell me, right? So this is a great place you can just post your question here, and we always uh, try to, you know, uh, respond to this question if you submit here, right? But we always recommend uh, to go to our community and look for uh, those answers. But if, if if you feel that you know uh, you want to uh, get a specific uh, question answer, you 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 feel free to you know, submit here, and we should be able to respond. So that's like a create transaction, and if you uh, if you look at uh, you know I can, I can go through every single one of them you know whether it's you know we have reports we oh, by the way we do have you know certificates as well so a lot of product as you as you see here so we talked about 15 products and if you think about it right 
each of these products should work with uh, each other, right? So we do have a lot of uh, uh, products integrated as well. So as a part of your uh, sales stack integration, you you don't have to you know go and you know get a separate product from our 15 products. So we we do have many of the products like key products based on what kind of integration you are building. We have some of the feature uh, API uh, built into this uh, API, so you don't have to you know. Uh, Call it uh, download a separate ATM, things like that to do that, right? So you, it's already built in for, uh, just to simplify your integration. Work. And uh, so we, this is uh, company API, it also works. You can actually hit, you know, uh, let, let's say, certified integration, right? So you can actually see how this API works. And as I mentioned, you can try now. So every single API we have tried, right? And then it talks about what this like, brief description. It's not really a brief, but detailed description of this API. What are some of the security policies around it? And what are the parameters? What headers it's expecting? And how it works, right? So that's like a uh, you know API reference for our product. And you can actually go through. Um, if you are dealing with XI, you can just go to XI logging, item classification. Or if you're doing dealing with sort captures, then you can just go there and look at sort capture. So you you will see that consistent consistency across all this product where we we have made sure that you get enough information uh, around each of these APIs so that uh, you can build your uh, you know uh, you can actually consume those APIs uh, without any problem. Moving on to uh, SDK, as I mentioned, we have uh, six different types of SDK. So uh, if you uh, if I click uh, LTK here, it takes you directly to the LTK link, and you can simply just go and download it. And we, by the way, we uh, host uh, on GitHub. So we are on GitHub and different places. So you can just click that and download. And if you're if you're if you're uh, building this integration, and if you're using Ubuntu or things like that, you can actually do you know uh, just pull that uh, uh, from GitHub directly. Uh, you can do that and. Uh, for uh, this for Avatax uh, specifically too. Right. Moving on to next, uh, you, we do have. So, for example, uh, let me uh, let me uh, quickly go through uh, one interesting thing. So now we, uh, we talked about uh, different APIs, the models. We talked about SDKs, what we support, how to test it. Right. There is another way uh, to actually uh, see. So, what we call that as the Avatax demo. What is demo is essentially a pre-configured demo where you can actually say, so for this example, uh, in the swap it this example, right? So I'm shipping an item to California, right? I'm in California, and what I'm shipping, let's say, oh, let's say it's pre-selected. So let's say base, uh, a baseball bat, which is $40.21, that's the cost. And then um, let's say I'm shipping from Seattle, right? So you select that, and by the way, Everything I'm doing on the left-hand side, it actually is using that create transaction we talked about, and it's creating that model behind the scene, right? And then you hit submit. So what it does, it creates a model, right? And this is like a simplified version of your, you know, uh, tax calculation, right? So you don't have to uh, know everything because uh, a lot of things, right, you can do with uh, our API, but this is a simplified version of our tax calculation where you actually pre-populate, you know, what you're shipping, from where you're shipping and where to ship, right? And then you get a response here. It says, okay, this is your tax, um, three dot one done. And then, if you let's say if you're sitting, uh, if you're uh, if you're selecting, let's say Brighton, and if you try to do the same thing, and it will give you a response. And this is where you know we support currency as well, right? right? And then it talks about the tax calculation, right? So this this is a great way uh, just to uh, just to experience how this API uh, actually works. Like this is the sim simplest form of uh, sales tax calculation. We thought uh, it would be really for for a lot of people, right? The tax field is uh, fairly complex, right? For uh, so for uh, for people who are not familiar with tax, you know how this whole tax works. This is a great place to actually play around uh, with those uh, API and see how this uh, how the tax rate changes, right? So that way you can figure out, oh, I can I can ship base, uh, you know baseball bat from you know Seattle to you know California, and it is going to cost me four dollars. But if I ship it to a different state, it is totally different. E even though if it is within US. The tax is different, right? And the reason is, you know, the tax, the jurisdiction uh, dictates a lot of uh, the tax rules as well. Right? 
So we, uh, so this is a great way uh, to experience that. And then we also have a free trial, and there is a bit obvious that this whole free trial space is, you know, it, it will take probably another whole session. But I just want to uh, give a brief intro of this free trial, right? So you can actually sign up for a free trial. You put your, you know, your first name, last name, email address, and then you just uh, continue, and you 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 we send an email, and you confirm your email, and uh, in the back end we'll we'll create an account for you uh, for a free trial account, and that what it gives you is a totally uh, I would say console or admin ex uh, console experience where you can actually uh, monitor your transaction. Uh, when you're doing integration, you can actually go and look at how these transactions are working, what features that uh, exist, how do you set up your company profile, how do you set up your jurisdiction, and things like that. It's a complete uh, experience of our product. Right? So that, that's a free trial. Right. So that, 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 by the way, that's one of the one of the great way where you can actually sign up, play around with that, and yeah, make sure that everything is great. And then uh, it, it, our our goal is to help uh, uh, you guys to build integration and also test integration to make sure that you are building the right thing and in the right way. So this is by the way, this free trial is uh, one of one of the one of the way where you can actually uh, uh, experience how this product is going to work for you. Now let's talk about. So we do have. Um, I don't go. In, uh, I will not go in detail, but we do have certification program. Uh, if you want to get certified, as a, as a, and so we have a lot of certification in different um, tax compliance. So if I take uh, certification batches, so we have you know certification on sales tax refunds, VAT, and you know, everything. This is like this is a great way where you want to get certified and you uh, you when you start building uh, integration for different companies. Now let's talk about. Uh, we talked about blogs. Uh, let's let's go to forums. So this is, uh, I think, uh, I thought. That. So this is a uh, forum, right? So this is a community of developers and community of not just developers. We have partners as well, right? So this is a great place where your most commonly asked questions will get addressed, right? So many of them, as you know, this, this we have been uh, in this business for years, right? And we have gathered so much data, uh, you know, so much. Uh, types of issues we have resolved so many types of issues we have explored so many uh, challenges uh, what uh, developers are facing and what we have done is we have uh, collected all those information and uh, and, and, and presented uh, to you guys here and uh, you should be most of the time you should be able to get your uh, question answered in this community right either uh, just by looking at uh, you know let's say uh, uh, here like let me create transaction invalid data range, right? So you can actually go and look at, you know, what happened, uh, you know, one of, our, one of our official reps would have responded, and then boom, this is the output and you're done, right? So many of those uh, most commonly problems would have already been addressed in this uh, our community forum, right? So this is a great place where you want to look for any existing problem and look for a solution. But it also we also give an opportunity where you actually ask questions here, and get your uh, questions answered. So this is, uh, and we actually have, uh, so this for like, if you look at, you know, we have Avatax specific, if you have Avatax specific question, we do have a category for Avatax API where that goes to question. If you have specific uh, questions around, you know, comms product or communication product, excise or capture, so there are, we categorize them into uh, different buckets and uh, you know, based on what type of integration you're building, what type of APIs you are using, you can actually go ahead and uh, use this. Right. And then uh, let's look at, yeah, we looked at pretty much everything. And then last one is uh, we have, uh, so we uh, our biggest conference for developers are uh, these press conference, uh, Avalara Press, and uh, uh, this, is, this is a great place where you can see what are some of the uh, events that is uh, coming up on from Avalara. You know, if you want to look at uh, this, this webinar, so we do publish all of our webinars on our website. And this is a great place uh, where uh, if you want to learn more about uh, the product, different products, different tax code, we have tons of uh, resources for you, right? We have a lot of uh, webinars that we publish from time to time. And this is a great repository of uh, the past webinars that we have. And this webinar will go here as well. And any new feature, uh, future uh, webinar, uh, you should be able to see that. And uh, if you're interested in you know, future webinars, you, know, you can actually go and register uh, for those webinars, and um, yeah, you'll be here listening uh, to one of our uh, experts on our site. So this, this is a great place to uh, you know, uh, start uh, looking for resources, especially uh, because we try our best 
to give you as much of information as I can as we can and on all the different product, different features. Some specific, you know, if you're dealing with that logic, we try to do a uh, specific webinar if you have uh, if there are things for that. With that, I think I am uh, done with my presentation and I'll open up for questions. Okay, thank you. Um, I think we are good to go. I think it's a great presentation. Thank you so much uh, for taking the time to walk uh, the developer audience through this. And um, thanks to everyone who attended. Take care. Bye-bye.